PLD-1000 Infrared Refrigerant Leak Detector 10-Step Training Video Step 1. Instrument Overview The PLD-1000 is composed primarily by a standard, or in this case, 5 LED sniffer probe, infrared sensor, display and keyboard, diaphragm pump, and electronic board. Step 2. Using the PLD in continuous mode The PLD-1000 is most commonly used in continuous mode, meaning it constantly senses for a leak value. To demonstrate, we are using a leak standard, which happens to be 4 grams per year of R134A. Place the sniffer probe in front of the leak point. The display will show the value and the red LED will illuminate if the set point is surpassed. An audio alarm will also sound, indicating a leak. Step 3. Calibration When using the standard leak for calibration, there will be an accumulation buildup which will give a reading higher than the leak standard. Wait for a few seconds for the level to normalize. Setting the flow rate. The flow rate of the diaphragm pump, given in standard cubic centimeters per minute, determines the response time of the PLD-1000. Check the flow rate by pressing the Enter key, then select Flow Management. Again, the higher the flow rate, the quicker the response time. Conversely, the slower the response time, the greater the accuracy. To calibrate the flow, press Enter again, then select Flow Calibration. 130 SCCM is a good flow rate. Leak Calibration To review the leak calibration, press the Enter key and select Leak Management. As you can see, we have the leak value set at 4 grams per year. To change it, press the up and down arrows. Press enter when you are finished. Place the sniffer probe in front of the leak standard, wait a few seconds, and press the cal key. Calibration is now complete. Step 4. Adjusting the set point. To adjust the leak set point, press the Enter key and select Leak Set Point. Use the arrow keys to adjust the alarm threshold. Step 5. Display Modes The PLD-1000 has two different display modes, Bar Graph and Numeric. To change the current display mode, press Enter and select Measurement Type. To demonstrate, we've selected Bar Graph. As you can see on the display, the set point is displayed in the upper right hand corner. The refrigerant type and sensor are shown in the lower left corner. The display units, in this case grams per year, is given in the lower right corner and the numeric readout is provided in the upper left corner. In the middle is the bar graph, which visually depicts the leak level in relation to the set point. Step 6. Language Selection To select the language to be used, press Enter, select Language, and use the arrow keys to highlight the desired language. 
Press Enter to save. Step 7. Measurement Modes The PLD-1000 has three different measurement modes, Continuous, Peak, and Accumulation. We've already demonstrated the Continuous Mode, so we'll take a look at Accumulation Mode. Press Enter and select Measurement Mode, then Accumulation Sample Mode. Set the number of samples desired by selecting Number of Samples. Adjust by pressing the arrow keys. When finished, press Enter. Set the printer settings as desired. To begin the test, press the square key on the probe or on the display. Hold for 4 seconds. The length of time to hold the key is adjustable. An audio alarm will beep to signal the operator to move on to the next sample. Review the results. Step 8. Peak Mode The third measurement mode is Peak Mode. Peak Mode is similar to Accumulation Mode, except it only records the highest leak rate detected. Step 9. Setting the zero. To zero the PLD-1000, press the triangle key. The instrument automatically zeroes. Step 10. Changing refrigerants. To change the refrigerant to test for, simply press the square key and release once the desired refrigerant is displayed. The refrigerant type can also be changed with the keyboard. 